Hey guys, and welcome to Chaos Code Monkey Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at DC Worlds Collide, a new game that's coming out, and we're going to take a look at the basics and how the game works. So let's get into it. Now the basics behind this is it is a 5 versus 5 against your opponent. So your opponent has 5 people, 5 characters to work with, and you have 5 characters to work with. Well, let's take a look a little deeper into the characters. First thing you get is the uh, each of the different characters has a different color associated with them. Red for strength, uh, agility is green, and intellect is blue. Uh, as you can see, if you are the dominant color in any particular matchup, you're going to get a 30% bonus. Um, to help me remember who has bonus on who, I look at uh, uh, blue as water, which puts out fire that's red. Red, fire burns wood, and then wood I don't know, floats on water. That's how I remember which trait can beat which trait. You also have each of the characters has symbols. You can see here on the, the opponent's Batman, he has a sword. This is a character that specializes in doing damage. And a shield. This is a character that specializes in defense. And then the cross symbol here, which is a character that specializes in support. Um, so when you pick your team you want to try to pick a good matchup against your opponent so the front row is a good place to put your tank characters that have good defense and a lot of hit points and then your support and damage people tend to go in the back now you don't have to do it that way but that's generally a good strategy to use so we're gonna come over here we're gonna use this filter button and we're gonna look for a couple of tanks to put into the front row so now I'm just getting my my tanks my guys with the shields uh, the gold ones are either epic or legendary with the gold background and then you have a purple background for uh, characters that are rare and then the more common ones are blue and green so the uh, the higher the higher rarity tends to be better and in this case it also will sort them usually your most powerful characters on your left so I'm going to put in these two characters Bane and Bizarro. Now the one thing you got to keep in mind is they tend to attack straight across unless they have some sort of special ability. So green here is going to attack straight across to uh, their front row which is Captain Cold. And green we know beats blue. Red is matched up against red so neither one of them will have any advantage on each other. And if we were to switch it this way then Captain Cold here would have an advantage on Bizarro because blue beats red and Penguin would have an advantage on Bane because red beats green. So we're going to keep it this way so that we have an advantage here and it's a wash there. Now let's get a couple of damage characters in there. Now I'm going to put in Wonder Woman. She is one of my better characters. But then let's grab uh, some green with green arrow and let's go grab a support character as well we'll grab Kid Flash so now you can see I've got red matched up against red over here uh, they will attack the front row first so Wonder Woman will attack against Penguin and green arrow and Kid Flash uh, well, Kid Flash at least will attack against Captain Cold. I'm not entirely sure. Green Arrow here may pick between the two each time. And then once the back or the front row is done, then they'll move on to the attacking the back row. Now the other thing you can do is there's some resonance. So uh, Kid Flash gets a bonus if he has both a tank and a damage character, a DPS character in his group gives a little bonus to everybody's hit points. And before the battle starts you can decide which order they use their ultimate abilities in. Now I'm going to put my damage dealers up front although sometimes you'll want to put your tanks up front to uh, put up some defenses and some shields. But in this case I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Now you can look up here. I'm actually 
this is the power level of my team versus the power level of my opponent's team so I have a pretty good advantage going on here but then when you start the fight you just sit back and you wait for it to happen so all the strategy in this game is in the setting up of your lineups in the beginning and not in the turn-by-turn -turn battles now in each character screen you can also within their roster go in and take a look at them you can see what their uh, hit points and defense is uh, you can get a description of what each of their skills do their basic attacks and their ultimates and any advanced moves or passive skills that they have um, you can see what other characters they resonate with as long as you have these characters uh, you can get some bonuses to your attacks and defense uh, but you can also then upgrade their equipment so within here each character can have um, a piece of equipment for each of these six slots so you can go in and pick which piece of equipment is best for for that particular character and you can see that they all have bonuses so this particular helmet that I have for Wonder Woman gives her an extra 1100 attack but it also has an attack bonus and a crit bonus and a hit point bonus. Now you'll see if I look at, uh, let's see, let's grab this this other attack set. Um, you can level them up by enhancing them and that unlocks these lower ones. You can see this one doesn't have this one unlocked until it gets to level 6 and it doesn't have the crit bonus unlocked until you get this piece of equipment up to 12. So you'll use um, a lot of your unused equipment to to build those up and then you can pick from any of these five different ones or any of these six different pieces of equipment to put in now you'll also see that each piece of equipment there are different sets that give you set bonuses so like if you pick the crit set you can get pieces that have critical strike bonuses on them and as you look down here the crit set gives you if you have two pieces that are crit which I have one two three four and it gives you plus five percent crit chance and if you have four pieces it gives you ten percent crit chance and then I have two health sets here that give me three percent hit point bonus so you can decide which pieces of equipment you want for each uh, individual character I chose critical strike bonuses for Wonder Woman because she gets bonuses when she critical strikes she has a chance to stun whenever she critical strikes so that's important um, and then you know extra hit points is always good but there are heal sets for your uh, supports that do healing speed gets you to act faster attack gives you bonus damage uh, more hit points and then some of your tanks maybe you want some blocking and then of course you have different quality levels as well but you can also sort by which attributes they have on them so like anything that gives me a hit point bonus and a crit set and it'll put it up towards the top and then each individual character has different ones and you can see these are all the bonuses that they have based on the equipment that they currently have equipped let's go take a look down here where I don't have anything equipped for this guy he's just a basic guy and I don't have him leveled up but he has you know 29 thousand health and 2900 attack I think that's usually 10 the attacks usually 10 percent of that a little bit of block and a little bit of speed but let's go and add some equipment for him we're gonna see if, what happens when we give him some health sets and uh, these little shirt symbols show that somebody else already has it equipped uh, that one is on Green Lantern so we're just going to equip him with four health sets and see how much additional health he gets from that uh, there's no bonus ones there those are all being worn if I can find some that aren't being worn by people here we go okay so this has given him six percent more hit points but on here you've got the 4800 more hit points and defense is he got 500 from those different pieces of equipment a little more crit chance and some bonus attacks so now if we go back and look instead of 2900 hit points he's got 33 
or 29,000 hit points, he's got 33,000 hit points. So putting those on uh, raised up his hit points and will allow him to tank better and have take more take more hits before he dies. Now this particular guy is a uh, is a tank, so having that in there is good. But you can also get things for block block chances as well. And that is the basics of how uh, DC Worlds Collide works. So you know how to add equipment to your characters and you know which characters to use uh, when you get into a battle. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it and subscribe to this channel and we will try to get some more content out to you about uh, DC Worlds Collide as well as several other games. Thank <laughs> you.